So in this video, we're going to work through these four formulae and determine whether they are dimensionally consistent. So let's look at the first example. We have t is equal to v minus u over a, where u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity, a is the acceleration. And t, of course, is time. So on the left-hand side, we have t. Okay, And on the right-hand side, we have v, which is a velocity. So in metres per second, that is l t to the minus 1. Then you've got to take away a velocity, which is l t to the minus 1. And then over a, which is acceleration, which is metres per second per second, which is l t to the minus 2. Now, when you're doing this, okay, you're not writing lt to the minus 1, take away lt to the minus 1 is 0. Okay? That's not what we're saying here. We have lt to the minus 1, so a velocity, take away a velocity, which of course would be a velocity. So lt to the minus 1 over lt to the minus 2. If this and this were completely different, um, you wouldn't be able to combine them. Okay, so it would be dimensionally inconsistent. So now we have velocity over acceleration. And you can see that the L's would cancel, and we would have t to the minus 1 divided by t to the minus 2, which is just t. And so the left-hand side is a time, the right-hand side is a time, and so yes, the first one is dimensionally consistent. Let's take a look at the second one. Now the S here is displacement. Uh, U and V are velocities, A is acceleration. Okay. So the left hand side being a displacement is a length, so that's L. And on the right hand side we have a velocity squared. Now velocity meters per second, now that's being squared. Take away another velocity squared divided by two lots of the acceleration. Now the two is dimensionless. The acceleration is meters per second per second, so lt to the minus two. Okay? So we have in the numerator here l squared t to the minus two, take away l squared t to the minus two divided by l t to the minus 2. Now you have this, take away this, so a velocity squared times a velocity, take away a velocity squared, which would be a velocity squared, divided by your acceleration. So one of the L's can cancel, t to the minus 2 divided by t to the minus 2 is just 1, and so that's just L. So the left hand side is L, the right hand side is L, they're both lengths, and so that is dimensionally consistent. Now, you should recognise both of those from the constant acceleration formulae. They're just rearrangements of those. OK, so number three. On the left-hand side, we have a force. Now, if you can't remember what a force was in terms of M, L and T, remember that a force is mass times acceleration. So mass times by acceleration, lt to the minus 2, metres per second per second. Okay, So that's how I would work it out. The right-hand side, we've got m, which is a mass, times by a velocity squared. So a velocity squared would be lt to the minus 1 squared divided by a length, which is L. Then we've got take away. Now here you've got a mass times by an acceleration, so G, which is metres per second per second, so LT to the minus 2. And the 2 take away 3 cosine theta is dimensionless, because the theta is dimensionless. OK. So what do we have? So we've got m 
L squared t to the minus 2 over L. Take away M L t to the minus 2. So M L t to the minus 2 take away M L t to the minus 2 is just M L t to the minus 2. And that is what we've got on the left-hand side. And so the third one is also dimensionally consistent. So with number four, on the left-hand side, we have time. On the right-hand side, we've got pi, which is dimensionless. So we can ignore that. We've then got the square root of, well, L cubed, so that's a length cubed, over G. Now, G is an acceleration, so metres per second per second. So L T to the minus 2. And that's square rooted, so that's to the power of a half. So we would have L uh, squared over t to the minus 2 to the half. And so that would be L over t to the minus 1, which is the same as L t. Now the left hand side was time, the right hand side is a length times a time. And so that is not right, that is not dimensionally consistent.